Chapter 5 Part 5 and Visual Design Visual design is critical to the success of your landing pages. It makes a powerful first impression, and is responsible for many visitors leaving your site within the first few seconds of arriving. Upon arrival your visitors have not had a chance to scan or digest most of your text message. They are mainly reacting emotionally to your page design. As I previously mentioned, you can fool or argue with the limbic system. If it does not like something, there is no appeal. Most of us can tell instantly whether a landing page appeals to us or repels us. We can tell if the page is cheesy and unprofessional. This determination is made based on the page structure, color scheme, front variety, graphics and images, and the degree of visual clutter on the page. Use the following guidelines to improve your visual design. Page layout The main quality that your page design has to have is coherence. It must be well organized and hang together as a single unit. It is helpful to use a grid design to create your preliminary layout. Design the page around the visitor's task and the conversion action. Give the proper visual prominence to important elements. However, be careful not to give too much prominence. Some people take this to an extreme, and subscribe to the aisle make it so big they can't possibly miss its school of thought. Unfortunately, large and obvious graphical elements can be largely ignored by most visitors especially, if they are surrounded by too much white space. This well-documented phenomenon is called banner blindness. Too much visual distinction can cause the item to be perceived as an ad and ignored. If you intend to make prominent items very salient, always provide identical text links below them, and in the main navigation areas of the page. The balance of your design is created at this early stage, and should be carefully preserved. The page should be simple and uncluttered, and include enough white space for the eye to rest. Group like items together. Unless advertising is your primary source of revenue, seriously consider whether you should show any banner ads. Banner ads are visually bold, and may destroy the relative emphasis and coherence of the other page elements. In the end, the drop in conversion may end up costing you more money than the banner ads bring in. Use high quality production graphics and images. Do not mix different visual styles, such as photos and clip art cartoons. Make sure that all of your image file sizes are small enough to load quickly. The only exception to this is the product click to 138 chapter 5, why your site is not perfect in large close up. These images should be as large as possible while still fitting on a reasonably sized monitor. Be wary of introducing any kind of horizontal rules or separator into your design. Rules, or even abrupt changes in background color, serve to stop the eye from going further. In effect they say, this is the end of something and discourage further exploration. This is also true of too much white space because it reduces scannability. Never make the user scroll to find critical information like transactional buttons or important navigation links. Even if they are appropriate near the bottom of the page, include another copy somewhere above the fold. Frames are composite pages created like a photo collage from several individual web pages. Unless your landing page absolutely depends on the use of frames, they should be avoided. Frames have several significant practical problems, and break the fundamental navigation paradigm of the web, because they pull in only portions of the final visual page, which often make no sense, when seen outside of the original context. Basically just say no to frames. Graphics images on your landing page are a powerful two-edged sword. They can support your key messages and desired actions. Or they can serve as major distractions or interruptions for your visitor. Their effect depends mainly on their purpose, and how they are perceived. The best images support your visitor's task, relate to the content on the page, illustrate key concepts not simply used as window dressing show product views or details contain pictures of friendly real people not models have clear composition and tight cropping however, images can also be ignored or have a negative effect, generic images or stock art unrelated to the topic of the page clearly fake, staged, contrived, or slick images bright flashy images, that look like advertisements visitors will look at images of other people they can't help it. This can be useful in two tactical situations. Important text or calls to action can be displayed as a caption immediately below the graphic. This guarantees that the caption text will get more exposure. Similarly, if only the top of your picture is visible above the fold, your visitors will be encouraged to scroll. 139 USA BILITY Basics Animation is almost universally annoying and should be generally avoided. If animation is required to illustrate a concept, the user should be given the affirmative option of watching it, and should not have it forced upon them. Similarly, flash technology should be used only, if there is a compelling need for it that would significantly improve the user experience. Color Color has a strong emotional impact on people, and can dramatically alter moods and attitudes. This is also true on the web. So you should use color sparingly and conservatively. This applies not only to individual colors, but also to palettes of complementary colors chosen for the landing page's visual theme. Make sure that your colors look unified, professional, and appropriate for your target audiences. Do not use inverse color schemes with dark backgrounds and light text colors. Most web browsers cannot print such pages very well. Stick to common color conventions. Use white or very light colors for text background areas while background patterns make it harder to read. Use colored text sparingly, and always use blue underline text for links, and do not use blue for any other text. This chapter has allowed you to see your landing page through new eyes. Undoubtedly many problems have surfaced. In the next chapter I will help you address them by deciding which page elements to tune.